In this video, I talk about how to search and download part data from ParQuest Portal, and how using a project in ParQuest Portal can keep your parts organized. Searching in ParQuest Portal is as easy as entering a series of keywords or the specific part number of the part you're looking for. In this case, I'm searching for a 1K resistor with 5% tolerance. Before searching, you can activate certain search criteria so that only Rojas compliant, lead-free, or in-stock items are shown in the results. After an initial search, the results can be filtered by going to the filters, located on the left of the interface. Once a subcategory is selected, items like resistance, tolerance, device package, as well as others can be filtered on. Using the shift key, when clicking on a filter option, allows selecting multiple filters at a time. Search results can also be sorted by clicking one of the columns. Which columns are visible are customizable by clicking the gear symbol. Looking over at the left set of columns, there are some icons. The heart indicates that it has been added to your favorites. The folder indicates that the part has been added to a project. And the down arrow is a quick way to download that part using the default settings. There is a blue icon in the next column, which is the drag and drop icon. We will use that in a second for downloading parts. There's also an indicator that shows if symbol, footprint, or step model data is available for that part. And lastly, there is a column that shows if the part is Rojas compliant, lead free, or both. To learn more about a particular part, you can click the more down arrow on the right side of the row for the component that you're interested in. Doing this displays more specific information about that particular part, such as operating voltages and operating temperature. There are buttons along the bottom of the panel that allow users to choose or create a new symbol for the part, choose or create a new footprint for the part, add it to your favorites, add it to a project, or open the data sheet for the component. If there is no existing part data for the part via one of the content sources, such as ParQuest Vault, users can create it. Adding the part to a project is a simple way to keep track of components that are used for a particular board. In this example, I have the parts that I intend to use in a design in a project. Having them all in a project allows me to know which parts I've used, as well as download them all at once, not one at a time as I find them. The best way to download parts, if you have Expedition or Pat's Professional VX 2.7 or later, is to use the new drag and drop functionality. To do this, click on the drag and drop symbol in ParQuest Portal with one or multiple parts selected, then drag and drop into the search window in Designer. This will import those parts into your project library for you to use. Another method for downloading parts, which is available to all users, is to click the little down arrow button on the left side of the row for the part, or open the More area and click the Download button. This downloads a file containing the part data that you can import into your library. If you want to download multiple parts, select the parts you want to download, then click the download button on the top right of the interface. Once the file is downloaded, you can import the file into your library. 